Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 209. I just arranged to speak at another state's spring annual conference today. If I'm not speaking at your state next year, we ought to talk. I'd love to do a full day presentation for you, allow folks to bring their laptop and follow along and learn some Excel tricks. Today's Excel trick uh, follows up on last time. Remember last time if we had a cell and we held down the shift key and clicked, we could get uh, a range of cells selected. That's yeah, great if you got, you know, 10 or 20 or even maybe 100. If you've got 10,000, scrolling all the way down and holding down the shift key is, is harder. So I want to show you one more trick today to select a whole bunch of data. If you pick a cell, hold down the shift key, the end key, E-N-D, and down, Excel will go all the way down until it finds a blank cell, and it'll say, oh, that's the end. I'm going to select all those cells until I hit a blank cell and call that your range. It works the same way this way with shift, end, and right. It will pick up everything to the right, and it finds that blank cell there, and it will go over all the way until it finds a blank cell and pick it up for you. And then the other thing you can do is go shift in and down, and it'll pick all the entire table up for you because it's finding blank cells here in column L. It's finding blank cells here in row 20, and it picks up the whole thing for you. It's a really great trick. Shift, end, and then the direction key, up, down, left, right, on your keyboard, will select this range for you. Now that I've shown you the trick, you got to watch out for the gotcha. Excel's logic when it figures out, okay, how far over do I go before I stop, is it looks for a blank cell. If you're going to the right, it's going to look for a column out here. If you're going down, it's going to look for a row down here. If you start, say, in August and go shift, end, and down, if you've got 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 rows, you may not know that you've got blank data in here, and these blank rows are stopping me. Excel's going down saying, hey, data, 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 data. Oh, I've got a blank here. I must be done in row 14, when really what I want to do is go to row 19. And so watch out for that gotcha. It's a great process to be able to go shift in and down or shift in and right and pick up the whole thing. And if you pick up the whole thing, you're generally going to, Excel's going to say, oh, maybe I'm missing one or two here, but I've got data here, and, and it'll get the whole thing for you. But if you started someplace like here and did shift in and right, it is only going to get until it sees this blank row here. So watch out for blank rows. That's what Excel's looking for. And if, you, if your data is not completely clean, if it's got some blanks in there, make sure when you do shift in and down, you're picking up everything you want. That's what I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned next time. We'll keep going. Thanks for watching.